Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, Daniel. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. How hey, are yes. you? Good, Thanks. good. And you, how's everything? No, it's like I'm um, at home. Nice. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> okay. Narciso, how's everything at home? Everything good. Nice. Nice to hear that. Okay, so it's uh, Thursday, right? One day remaining. This is, you know, <laughs> incredible. So it's nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for connecting on time. It's 8.01. We can get started, okay? So welcome, Ray. Welcome, Harrison, JC, Linda, Eric, Norma, and Christina. I can see we are 10 people connected. And, well, we can get started, okay? JC just turned on, on his evening. Camera. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to start checking the attendance, guys. This is the first step that we usually do. Okay, so let's see. Number one on the list, I think, is not connected yet. Miss Alegria. Okay, number two on the list is Angel Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Angel. Let's see. Okay. Second. And just, okay. Uh, Christina Stephanie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Christina. How are you doing, Christina? I am fine. Nice, Thank nice you. to hear that. Daniel. Hi, thank you, Carol. I'm here. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for answering. Okay, and then after Christina and Daniel, we have Gabriela Guadalupe. Gabriela? Nope, not connected. Okay. Harrison? Present teacher. Thank you so much, Harrison. Ruben? No, not connected yet. Okay, JC. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, JC. Linda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Julia. Not connected yet. Okay, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you so much, Marlene. See, Marlene is connected. Then I have Marvin Omar, not connected. Okay. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Rafael Ernesto. Rafael, I think Rafael is not here. Thank you so much, Kavi, for um, okay, sending the message. It, Seen Rafa not yet. And then Ray. Ray yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. He's here. Ray. You know, you are there. Good. And Xiomara. Xiomara? I think Xiomara. Xiomara hasn't uh, connected yet. And okay, so that would be it. So thank you so much. We are going to get started. I think, oh, Maria Julia is here. How are you doing, Maria Julia? Very good, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm doing good. Thank, thank you so much for asking, okay? Okay, okay um, so we are going to continue with our class and we have been talking about what, guys? I don't remember exactly. So can you tell me what we studied yesterday? Can anybody or can anyone from this class open his or her mic and give us a brief explanation about yesterday's class, what we did or anything that you learned or review yesterday before we get started? What you remembered? Give us a very brief refresh. Short direction. Okay, we gave directions, short directions. Okay, like for example, what comes to your mind? Any example? Uh, 
that will depend right in what the place and uh, you're looking for or where you're going but there are some very common um, maybe we can call them uh, imperatives right that we we usually give right when it comes to giving directions so what comes to your mind what are those more popular um, phrases that we use when we give directions most popular phrases or structures mm -hmm. give me two or three or more that you remember go straight go, go straight okay that's one go past. okay go past to go left to right left turn right okay there you go what else welcome rafa what else Thank you, teacher. Ooh, work. Okay. Well okay, walk down. Okay. Okay. For the block. Okay. Yes. Like when you want to specify how many blocks you have to go forward. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we also said yesterday that we can have these uh, negative, like, imperatives right if you remember who remembers or who can give me one example of a negative imperative let's think about our not only about giving directions let's think about general things okay what would you say what would you i don't know mention or what what do you say to your if you have kids, what do you say to him? But if you have other uh, people that you are in charge of, what do you say as a negative imperatives? Don't use this vehicle. Don't use this vehicle. Okay. Yes, that's, that's one. What else? Don't touch. Don't touch that. Don't, don't touch. touch. Don't touch uh, the screen. Okay. Yes. Don't touch that. Don't touch that screen. Okay. Yes, we say that. What else do we say? What do you say to your kid, Daniel? Be quiet. <laughs> Be oh, quiet. Don't, oh, don't do it. No, no, oh. no, don't right. Do it. Don't do this. Don't do that. Where do you go? <laughs> okay don't leave right stay there don't touch that okay yes those are the most common imperatives that we use right but then um what about at work what are those imperatives that you hear the most or what do your boss or if you are a boss what do you say to your um to your people to your workers employees what do you say? How do you say no llegues tarde? How do you say, uh, uh, well, we remember, I remember that we talked about activities, for example, and I even remember that Daniel said yesterday, send the email right now. <laughs> okay, uh, answer that phone call. Okay. Prepare some coffee for me. But what do you say in negative? Or what do they say to you in negative? Don't be late. Don't be late. Okay. Don't be late. Okay. Do not be late. Okay. What else? Any other? One more, please. Don't push this printer. Okay. Don't touch this printer. It's only for me, my personal use or, or only, okay, okay, good. I can see we are like, uh, well, in that, that way, we know how to give commands, we know how to give imperatives. And um, guys, it, it, as you can see, as you have seen, we've been talking about different, um, let's see what, imperatives and orders, amenities, uh, hotels and stuff like that. And this is all connected to the topic. And we've been talking about travel plans, right? And I know everybody likes traveling, especially when it's not related to work, right? You go just for fun. You go over to a different country just to have fun. And well, today we're going to keep talking about the same thing. 
And uh, we're going to request, okay? And provide instructions about means of transportation. Yesterday, we started talking about this. We talked about these, um, what, means of transportation. I remember you were saying uh, taxi. I remember that Marlene loves horses and she rides, you know, horses. But then what is your favorite, like, means of transportation, guys? Can you tell me what's your favorite and why? Think about benefits, advantages and disadvantages. Who can, who would like to open the mic, say, hey, hey guys, I prefer or I rather use this because of this and this and that. These are some of the benefits, but this is the advantage that I can see. So can you open your mic and talk? Only talk to me, please. Talk to the class. Who wants to start talking, like trying to improvise? This one. What's your favorite? Well, huh? well, for me, for me, teacher, my my met my means of transportation uh -huh. is the the trams because it's on it don't work. I think is is best the best the security is best in gas type of transportation versus the uh, tram. Public transportation. Right, right. Public transportation is not safe, right? It's a little bit dangerous or risky here in my country. Okay. Yes. I like it. Any other opinion? What's the best? What's the best? What's the what is the what um, most I don't know expensive? The cheapest, the safest. What is, I mean, you tell me think about advantages, just give your opinion. I want to hear your voice. That's what I want to do. So open for your me, mind. Teacher, mm -hmm. For me, it depends. Um, in, in my place, um, I prefer a bus or walk. And a walk uh, because it's, it's good for my my body and the bus is good for my money <laughs> and um, then I go to San Salvador I prefer my car because the bus is dangerous mm -hmm. yeah no yeah, yeah, I understand that. Dangerous um the time is is uh, how do you say menos tiemp time but men's time or uh, less time less time oh less time yeah less time it's less, less time, time. Mm -hmm. yes like you do your own what schedule right you don't have to stick to the bus is scheduled you don't have to go to a bus the bus station to pick up the, you know the bus because you are driving yes yeah that makes sense you see and especially when you have to do many errands how do you say mandados in english do you know that Oh, I I heard this word, errands. Errands. I just I just shared it. So when you have to do many errands, like many things, that you have what? Uh, so that would be like the, the the best one. Um. Well, then thank you so much for sharing. You know your experiences, guys, about what you have gone through. I remember that yesterday somebody said like, okay, uh, if I go like by bus, then I can even sleep, right? And yeah, that is something that you can consider. However, in the in these times, I don't think it's that safe to sleep on the bus, right? But I don't know if you have noticed, people, you know, love maybe sleeping on the bus because 
you know, they are tired of their routine. They are what they might have had a very like tiring day. And they on the on the way back home, you know, they sleep. Okay. I have seen this several times. But then, guys, uh, let's keep talking about these. I know you maybe you already started working on this activity, but I want to give you some time because I want to make sure everybody you know, um, completes and solve this word research or search here. So let's take some time, maybe two, three or five minutes for you to complete this activity. Let's find the words that are hidden here. Okay, what well, can be a word? So you can watch, you can take a look at here, guys, down below here, we have some means on transportation, right? Let's see, let's have Rafa. Rafa, can you do us a favor? Can you please read in this column all these means of transportation, only this one? Read, just read it, please. Train, uh -huh. car, plane, motorcycle, mm -hmm. subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle, ship. Okay, you read all of them, all right. So some of them are not, not common in our country. For example, train um, is not that common, right? To have trains in here. And then, but in other countries, yes. Maybe uh, electric trains. Um, I don't know if you have had the experience of traveling by subway, but then subway is a very fast transportation. Right, I go, how do you say subterranean uh, in English? Subway. Subway. How, do you, subway. how do you say subterraneo, guys, in English? Subway. Subway. And how do you say subterraneo? Subway is a train, right? I know it's, it's, the, it's what we also know as metro, um, right? Exactly. Alguien lo dijo, underground. Underground. Underground, underground yeah. means when something is like underground <laughs> the ground underground mm -hmm. so the underground the subway is an underground means of transportation but i don't know if you have seen this on movies or if you have had the experience of traveling on subway sometimes when is the when this when is the subway stop it goes up right it goes up just to pick up people sometimes so subway is not common in our country hopefully one day we will have a subway <laughs> I don't think we will, but you know, it's too. I think it's it's the, it's a very like small country to have a sad way, but I don't know. It might facilitate many things, right? So, in this from this class, only only Marlene has helicopters, right? And I think Rafa, Globo, <laughs> <laughs> like toys. <laughs> I prefer Globo. Okay. <laughs> Like mm -hmm. tracks, tracks is like uh, the difference is because track you can uh, carry on like um, stuffs, right? Track is bigger, and then taxi, bicycle, and ship. Uh, ships, it's um, not a common means of transportation, I think. What do you think? When do we uh, use ship? It's a bark or bote. Mm -hmm. so when do we use, have you ever traveled by ship? Um, Where do you go to the island? In crucero. Cruise, yeah, cruise, yeah. But never been, <laughs> never been to that. <laughs> Have you ever been to a cruise? Yes? No. Like a romantic one, like a Titanic, you know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe you've been invited, right? Yes. Crews are very common on movies. <laughs> no, but you know, have you gone to this this place? Like, uh, if you go to a Cajutla where I live near to that that area, and then when I go by, you know, and I see like planes, like ships, you know, these people like having a great time. Not from our country, sometimes, you know. Um, well, okay. Guatepeque Lake. Okay. It's a great place. I've been there a couple of times. 
Yes. All right. So let's do something. Let's go over this vocabulary and find it on this crossword. Okay. I'm going to give you five minutes. Start working on that. When you finish, let me know, please. Did you finish? Not yet. You need some time. Finish. Oh, Marlene finished and Rafa finished. All right. Finish. Thank you so much. So we have JC, Daniel, and Gabriela and Norma. Okay, we we'll finished. Okay, I'm going to give one more minute because I want everybody to finish. Okay, so let's say one more minute. Well, this time we are going to solve it. Okay, we're gonna solve it with, um, as, I mean, we're gonna do it as a whole class, okay? And for that, let's see, we are going to use the annotated, let's see, tool. Okay, let me share the screen. 
here we go. I know you guys can use the, the, the tool, right? For those who have computer, it's easier, right? To, to use the annotate tool. So who would like to start? Maybe someone. Okay, thank you, Simara and Narciso. Who wants to start like using the pen from your annotated uh, annotate, you know, toolbar and start circling, you know, the words you have found. Who wants to do it? First word. Thank you, Ruben, for confirming. Those who have computer and want to help us circling. Like, or maybe I want, I want, I'm going to do the first one, okay? So I help you. I'm going to do the most difficult one, okay? So you kind of like, um, maybe motivate to do the next ones. So the first one, wow, the most difficult one. I got this one, ship. This is ship, 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 okay? Anybody else? Use the pen with your computer. Let's see, come on. Let's do this. Oh, there you Down go. is train. Thank you so much, Norma. That's what I'm talking about, train. Next, anybody else? Motorcycle. Where is it? Down. Okay, can, Down. You, can you do it? I can only see Marlene's pen, but. Daniel, okay, Daniel, <laughs> that was fast, helicopter, okay, what else, and then, any other, Someone. okay, where is it, Christina, oh, taxi, Christina, okay, okay, taxi, what else, Okay, <laughs> Ruben, thank you so much. I like car, okay. <laughs> what else? Marlene, okay. What is it, Marlene? Subway. Okay, Subway, okay. Look at that, Harrison is coming to help, okay. Plane, okay. Okay, what's missing? Is it, that's it? Or do we have, okay. Bicycle, okay, nice. Is it, is, is that it? Or are we missing any, anything else? That's it? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, right. That will be it. Now I want you to do me a favor as we usually do it. Now a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. I want to make sure everybody has finished it. Okay. A screenshot from your computer or take a photo with your phone and send it to the group. I'll give you one minute. Let me see. Let me check my phone and see. I'll be receiving all of them. Make sure to send yours. Mm -hmm. hmm. Received any. All right, got the first one here. Thank you so much. That's Daniel. Okay, good. That's a nice work. That's what I'm talking about. Well, there you go, Christina. 
Ok, Xiomara. Marlene is coming with, with hers as well. Ray, Linda, ok, great. And Ruben is there, ok. Ok, ok, good. Ok, Rafa, I can see you're in here. There's one that didn't write his or her name, I think it says JC. Oh, JC Coco, is that you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Uh, no, I, I understand that. I understand you. See, it's because of your last name. Carolina is here. Rafa, okay. That's good to see that everybody is working, right? I think I haven't received some of yours. Let's see. Um, where's yours, Marvin? I don't see it. I don't see it. Let's see. No, I haven't received it. Send it, please. Who else is missing? Make sure to send yours, please. Don't keep it for yourself, okay? So um, we have a conversation right here that I really want you to practice a lot because that basically summarizes one of the main ideas from this topic, okay? And thank you for sending. So make sure, make sure to send like yours, okay? Um, so let's say we have this conversation. I'm going to have somebody to be a speaker A and somebody to be speaker B. So maybe we can have, let's see, uh, Xiomara. Hello, Xiomara. Xiomara is there. And Marvin. Xiomara and Marvin. Xiomara will be a speaker A and Marvin will be a speaker B. Okay. Go ahead, please. Open your mic, Shimara. Shimara, open your mic. Hola, hello. Shimara. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, excuse me. How how can I get to the airport? Mm. <clears throat> Well, the airport is very far, far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thank you. Um, I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two block down the down the street. You can go there by foot. Thank you a lot. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Do me a favor, Marvin and Xiomara. Can you change or roles, please? Switch roles. Go ahead, please. What? Hello? Yeah, can you switch roles? Can you change role? Interchange your roles. Uh, like change roles. Now, who was mm, change roles? Marvin, you start now. Okay. <clears throat> Marvin, start again, please. But you start this time. Okay, teacher. Uh, perdón, me podría explicar? Yeah, no problem. We are just going to switch roles. Solo van a cambiar el rol. Ah, okay. Uh, Inicia usted, Marvin. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me. How can I get to the airport. Well, the the airport is very far out away. You can go by by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, 
I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there car rental near her? Sure, it's two o'clock down the street. You can go there be put. put. Uh, thanks a lot. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for sharing. Uh, let me just go ahead and make some very, really quick observations. Please, uh, the first one, it, it'll be airport. Air, airport. Airport. Air, airport. Airport. And then to pronounce this word very, very far away. We do not say very, we say very because it's a we labio dental sound, very. Cuando decimos que es un labio dental, es que los labios y los dientes funcionan en el sonido. Very, very, very far away. Very far away. Listen to me, Xiomara. Uh, very far away, very far away. Very far away. Very, very. Far there is a there is a slight change on that. Hay un pequeño cambio en el sonido. Very, very, very good. Very, very far away. Yes, very good, Samara. Very good. Okay. Uh, then let's see this word here. 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 And then we have by foot. By foot, which means by walking foot. by foot. Mm -hmm. By foot. Okay, okay. So yes, that's what it is. This conversation it's a, is the example of what we are going to do in a minute. However, we need to go over some vocabulary. Mm -hmm. When do we use go by, Narciso? When do we use go by? Can you read this information right here, please? I want to read it for the whole class. Is it go by? So yes. The means of transportation you use from point A, A to B. Uh, a G, go by bus, by car, by plane, by foot. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, we uh, use go by to what do you say here? How do you say specific card in English? We say specify. Specify. Okay. So specify. Only that. And then um, so the means oh when we when we have this word like that says eg, we say for example, right? That's what we say. For example. Go by bus, go by car, by plane, by foot. Okay, so these are what well, we're gonna use go by to specify. Okay, the means of transportation. Okay, so I go by bus, I go by car, I go by plane. Now, uh, tell me something which places do you visit, like uh, in which you go by bus? What are those places that you go by bus? Or you never use you never use bus. <laughs> no, Rafa never uses right. Okay. Yes, I visit. Which place? Uh, two place. Um, Tecana Hill. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Y la Matepec volcanos. Volcanos. Okay. okay. Okay, I want to hear one other opinion. Which places do you do you usually visit by car? Other other opinion? By car? By car. Quatepeque uh -huh. Lake. Okay, Quatepeque Lake. Okay, yes. And what other places? And how about by plane? Let's see who wants to participate. What places do you visit by plane? 
besides your house. No one, no one. In another country. Exactly, in, an, to, in another country, right? In a foreign country, okay? Yeah, even though if, if, if the place, I mean, if the country is near like our neighbor, for example, Guatemala or Honduras, Nicaragua, people usually go, you know, by car. But then it makes sense what you're saying, because if the place is far away, then you don't want to be driving. You want to, you know, pay if you have the money to go by plane. And how about, Christina, by foot? What places do you go by foot? Repeat, please. Yeah, which places or what places do you go by foot? Um, In your town. Go play. Mm -hmm. Where? Go play. Mm -hmm. A park. A park, Maybe. yes. To, okay. To gas station. To gas station. <laughs> Oh, wow, you're lucky. No, <laughs> Supermarket. Supermarket, yes. Then you're lucky. Do you go to the bus, to the gas station by... No, no. Bus, <laughs> bus, bus, bus station. How say... La parada uh, de bus. Parada de bus, uh -huh. uh, Bus stop. Bus stop. Uh, okay, uh -huh. bus stop. Bus stop. The bus... Oh, but you can say bus station. Bus station is la terminal de buses. Uh -huh. The bus it's, station. It's, it's, it's correct. Yeah. Because I, I have the, the bus stop of oh. how say oxygen. Mm -hmm. uh, east west. or west? West. Okay. Mm -hmm. For working 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So nobody in this class uh, go to his or her work by foot? No? Nobody does? Think, no. Yeah. I can see. Yeah, nobody, I mean, because when you live near where you work, that's really cool, right? You just need to, you have the advantage of waking up late and then uh, you kind of like eat and then you go, right? Because you can go there and get there very fast. Okay, and what other, other places? Do you go to the Tendita de la Esquina, you know, around the corner store, <laughs> walking? or only supermarket and super select Walmart. No, 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 I don't go to Walmart. I go to, uh, what, do you, what do you call this place when you have price mart? Okay, only membership. Yo compra, yo solo compra en grande. Yeah. We don't have money. Sí. Yo pago la membresía, de en el panel la uso. Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> I only, no. I only... I only buy in, in, in I'll say, in the Despensa de Don Juan. Despensa de Don Juan. I buy. No, Despensa Familia. Despensa Familia. Maxi Despensa. <laughs> downtown. Downtown Market. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Guys, thank you so much for sharing the experience you have on these uh, places. Let's, let's move on. Let's see. Fíjense que tengo, déjenme hacer algo, porque me aparece, ah, one, two, three, four, five, tenemos, ok, tengo varios uh, con las cámaras off, ya sé que Daniel le da problemas la cámara, ok. Yes, where, I have problems. Where the neighbor, <laughs> donde el vecino, <laughs> to the neighbor sería donde la vecina, Rubén. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ahí, ahí, okay. se, ahí se va, pero así eh, no voy a decir la palabra. Ajá. Ah, ajá. Camina, camina, work by, work by, work. Camina, con, camina con cuatro, ¿no? <laughs> work by, four. I don't know, it's cre cre creeping. Creeping means like, yeah. Ah, yeah. creeping, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. It's but, good uh, Scooter, scooter, no. no, okay. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for your participation. That is really essential here. So let's go ahead and solve the next 
exercise we have, we are going to think about places in your, um, well, around your company, okay? So we have three places. Write the place, write the place, write the place, write the means of transportation, and then you want to ask a question. For example, how can I go to the nearest restaurant? Okay, how can I go to a drugstore? So you decide. So I'm gonna give you at this moment three minutes to, for you to complete this part. Think about it, please, and give a possible answer. The answer can be open, okay? So go ahead, please. Start working. ¿Está enamorado? El amor duele. Mm. No. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? Mío, como que fuera corta Michael. bien. Que okay. quiera, Rafael. Ay, Marlene, no haga eso usted. No es duda. No, la canción es buena, la verdad es buena. That's good. That's a good song. I don't know if you guys like it, but I love old school songs. Do you guys old schools? Do you like old school songs? Like 80s? Old, yes. Old school 90s? Uh -huh. Yes. 70s. Yeah, 70s, yeah. Um, good ones. Michael Burton. This is the song of Michael Burton. Yes? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, oh right. Three more minutes. When you finish, let me know, please.
in your answer, please try to expand. Please try to expand your answer and take into account the place you are telling. Like maybe the answer might vary. Puede variar un poco the answer, but just try to give one answer to practice. La, la idea es dar una respuesta para practicar, okay? Que use las, las, um, las, las expressions, las prepositions. Okay? That's the idea, okay? Um, so complete the answer as well, please. Finish, Marlene. Yes, okay. Asiso, finish. Rafa, Manuel. Finish. Good, I Ma think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Maria Julia, finish. Marvin. Finish. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, so one more minute, please. One more minute. Ruben finished. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, this is what we are going to do. I want you to uh, share this chart on the WhatsApp group, please. Everybody send it to the WhatsApp group. I want to see it like uh, places, means of transportation, question, and also the answer you have given. Send it to the, to the group chat, please. Let's take one more minute to do that, please. Be attentive here to see who sent it first. Let's see. Okay. I haven't received any anything. <laughs> Okay, I have the first one, Ruben. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it, Ruben. Let me give more time for the other ones to send it. Okay. 
Julia. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two. We have Marlene, thank you. Okay. Short answers, Marlene. Okay, we can expand a little bit more. Okay. Wow, that's a good one. I have three people who have, okay, Danny is here. Okay, good. One more minute, please send it. I want to have everyone's here on the chat. Everyone's chart. Take one more minute, no problem. I got, I got another one here, Christina. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Christina, for sending it. Rafa's one it has arrived. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, two short answers, Rafa. I would need to give more like expanded answers. Uh huh. I got rays. Okay. Okay. Good. The purpose is that you guys uh, expand on your answers. Like I like the the one um, Ruben shared. And he says, for example, let me read an answer. Um, the ATM is very far away. You can go by car. You see those type of answers, like long answers, it's better, okay? But you can still expand when you use practice. Okay, I got the majority. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Missing some of you. Carolina, okay. So guys, um, keep sending them. I'm going to update the attendance right now, please, because it's already nine. This is, let me go ahead and check the attendance in case, you know. So just finish it and then let me check the attendance, okay? Let's see, number one here, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, oh, that's, that's really worrying. She's not here. She was not here yesterday. Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel. Present teacher. Daniel, thank you. Gabriela. Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Gabriela Herson. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you. JC. I'm here, teacher. Good. Uh, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Present teacher. And Xiomara. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, before we move on with this activity, the one you just finished, um, thank you so much for sending the chart to the WhatsApp group. That's, that, that was so cool. I want to ask you a question. Have you had any problems by completing the exercises on the platform? Any confusions or any doubt in how to resolve any specific exercise? Or any, everything is okay on the platform? with the homework assignment, daily homework assignment. No questions? Are we fine with that? Estamos claros con las preguntas, las tareas asignadas, los, o alguna, Está bien. ¿Estamos bien todos? No ha habido ninguna... No, Solo no. tenía una duda de una, de una pregunta, Ticho. Ajá, uh, which one is it? Eh, is, mm, tarea... 17. Uh -huh, uh -huh. En la pregunta 4, ¿cómo es, ¿cómo es lo correcto? Dice, you are going to have a picnic next Tuesday. You're going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Uh -huh. It's correct. 
si todo revisa accesar lo permiten ¿no? sí, okay. eso o sea, any, alguien okay. más Ay, lo que sucede ahí que no sé si es error pero hay que poner en el cuadrito you are porque si solo pone are, are you are going, are going ah, entonces ese, ese error de, de ahí creería porque ponga nada más you are, o sea agréguele you y se la va a dar como buena ok el, el mismo problema tenía yo ok sí, bueno. sí. ojalá ya me aprobar Vaya, hay que revisarlo. Sí, hay que revisarlo. Hay que revisarlo porque ayer justamente veíamos unas cosas con Narciso y quería verificar si habían tenido problemas ustedes también. Lo que vimos ayer con Narciso creo que más o menos se solventó, ¿verdad, Narciso? Sí, gracias. Thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you. Ok, entonces si alguien de ustedes, como esos detallitos, pueden consultar, pueden, el, el WhatsApp, este grupo está para eso, ustedes pueden compartir ahí sus findings, lo que encuentran y, y también pueden este, aportar, como lo acaba de hacer Gerson, que le dijo, pongámosle tal y mm. funciona. Aunque ya no agarra, creo que porque ya es muy tarde, pero quizás el error de la plataforma. Ya no le, ya no le, le ya no se cambia. Pero no sé. Ah, pues no sé. Pero quería salir de la duda si era correcto que estaba poniendo, porque yo intenté muchas veces y no, no agarraba. O sea, siempre me salió error en todo. No, ya va a cargar mi, mi página, voy a revisar. Eso no me... was okay. the one... That was the 17, right? 17, you said, right? Uh -huh. Vaya, está bien. Eh, ya lo voy a anotar. Asegurémonos también. Eh, de no dejar todo para el viernes mañana, pues haremos la encuesta también de, de, de satisfacción. Vamos a, creo que ya todos recibieron el correo o recibieron la, el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Es, no la vayan a llenar. Yo sé que hay, ya quieren desquitarse, pero tranquilo todavía. <risa> relax, relax. Así que eh, para que mañana lo hagamos todos juntos. Porque eso, recuerden, es el proceso, ¿verdad? Este, tenemos que crecerlo todos juntos y mandan ¿verdad? las capturas y todo eso, ¿verdad? Así que este, mañana y así, yo mañana también tengo que, ya, ya vi varios que han, han, han avanzado bastante en el módulo, de hecho estaba revisando ahora y algunos van súper avanzados, entonces mañana hay que completar todos los homework, hay que completar también el, el final test que aparece y ya, pues, ¿verdad? Entonces, así están tranquilos. Si usted considera de que ya a esta altura puede resolver todo, ya hoy trabaja y mañana, sí, mañana bien chile, ¿verdad? No está ahí preocupado que le falten todo. Y de repente ya de la preocupación ya ni termina, ya ni lo hacen bien o es la nota que se sacan. Yo he tomado unos hasta baja nota, pero porque no quieren repetirlo ya, porque el tiempo ya los tiene cortos. Entonces, para que no pase eso, y pueda tener la oportunidad de, de repetirlo si es necesario, ¿verdad? Lo importante aquí es el aprendizaje también que se puede obtener mediante la práctica. Este, eh, Marlene, ¿cuál de todas me dijo, perdón? ¿Qué número era de la 17? La 4. Sí, la, la respuesta es you are going to have. Tiene que ponerle el you, como dijo Gerson. Y hay que poner el you are going to have con la Y o de Jojo mayúscula, porque es inicial. Uh -huh. No la voy a poner minúscula, que no se la va. <ríe> Me pasó algo, cometí un error de que cuando estaba haciendo ese, cuando escribí en el cuadrito, pero puse toda la oración y cuando le di a enviar, todas me salieron mal. <ríe> y yo, ay, no, y solo se tenía que poner el, uh -huh. el going to. No, 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 no se preocupe, Marlene, no es la única. Yo ah, okay. Puse toda la y, yo, y yo bien afligida, yo como puede ser que esté equivocado. Pero, yo, no. yo, yo decía, yo, yo Marlene, yo. ¿cómo ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasa conmigo? ¿Cómo puede ser posible? No, ok, vaya, sí. Ok, ese era el detalle. Bueno. Que ayer también tenía dudas este, Ángel Narciso, ¿verdad? Porque creo que ponía, se ingresaba toda la, 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 la oración y eso ocasionaba el error en la plataforma. Este, ¿Alguien más tiene alguna consulta? 
questions, guys? No questions. A mí también me salía así, dicho. Y yo le envié, no sé si ya lo voy a poder corregir o ya no. Verifique si le dejan todavía, creo que tendría que, porque, porque aún está. Porque yo así lo dejé. No, 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 access to it, no. Don't, don't give <ríe> ya up. Ya lo voy a revisar. Don't give up that easy. Don't give up that easy. No sé por vencida, así de fácil. Ok, um, ya voy a ingresar también, sí, porque a mí me deja, tengo que estar todo, everything is open, y pues me dice, sí, mañana pues estamos todos set, no, nobody's gonna be like running late, que yeah, eso, eh, like, a, how do you say um, that a person who leaves everything for the very last minute in English? <laughs> How do you say that? No, no, <laughs> procrastination, procrastinator, un link que al final todo, ¿verdad? Estoy viendo el, el, los grades y pues tengo personas que ya tienen todos los homework completed. Uh, tengo aquí a alguien que hasta ahí es el, el final test tiene con 10, todo pasó ya. Y pues tengo varios así ya con 10 pasados. Tengo tres. 3 con 10 y todo ya todo completo. Usted sabe de quién es, quiénes son. Y pues, teacher. Usted, bueno, tengo teacher. más: 1, 2, 3, 6. Ajá, uh, adelante. Yo, eh, sí, es, eh, ya superé el problema de, de, la, de, de la número 4. Ok. Sí, sí, Marlene, se puede. Hay que ponerle you. Are going okay. to have. Ya lo intentaré. How do you say intentaré? I will try. I'll try. I'll try. Uh -huh. I'll try or I will try. Okay. Bueno. Uh, if you have any additional question, just let, let us know. Hay seis personas que ya tienen 100 en todo. Eh, así que, pues, eh, gracias por el compromiso porque eso facilita todo también. ¿verdad? No estamos running late at the very last minute. Y pues lo demás, los que aún le falta el final, el final, acuérdense que es esencial que haga el final, pero hay que hacerlo. A veces se olvida que hay un final y se deja y a sábado se está haciendo, pues se genera un poquito de, de quizás, no sé, al, si no se acordaba, pues ya tiene la agenda cargada para el sábado, como que dejarlo ya cuesta un poco más. Ok, bueno, quería nada más tomar esos minutitos, creo que es, es saludable hacerlo, así que ahora si vamos, ya que mandaron sus, sus capturas, sus pictures en el grupo, podemos practicar, ya que no estamos en físico, todos sus compañeros podrán ver su, su cuadrito y ya podrá compartir con su compañero y practicar, ¿verdad? Si, ya, si, si a él le toca, si a mí me tocara con JC, busco la captura de JC y practico con JC, ¿verdad? Si me tocara con Rey, busco lo que mandó Rey y yo tengo el acceso para compartir la información. ¿Sí? Eso, that's what we're going to do. ¿Ok? Así que voy a hacer dos grupos y vamos a compartir. Fíjense que esto está bien, pregunta-respuesta. Pero si usted puede challenge a little bit more yourself, se reta un poco más, puede hacerlo un poco más en real, más natural. Por ejemplo, antes de decirle uh, how can I go to, or how can I get to the park or, or the drugstore or the Uh, aquí está uno que dice business. Uh, dígale, excuse me, or hello, how are you? Blah, blah. Está como entablar la conversación. Okay? Practice, van a tener unos cinco minutos, dependiendo, y intercambio primero el de un compañero, luego el de otro compañero. Okay? Así que, here we go, guys. Practice, please. Practice, practice, practice. That's really good and really necessary. Okay? Uh, two. How do you say relajo, teacher? En realidad, solo una mala palabra se me ocurre. No, no, lo que pasa es que yo tengo un solo relajo en lo que hice. Por... Ah, no, pero ahí sería... No, disorder, yo, llevo, yo llevo mis disorder. manchones en, en, sí. en mi... Sería un disorder. Mm. Mire, podría, ah. podría ser mes, así mes, o oh, disorder. Yo creo que más que se queríamos con, 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 con mes. Un mes. Oh, yeah. mes. Ajá. Un relajo, un desorden, un... Ajá. I send him, I send him mess. I, I send I a send mess. mess now. Porque I mire, 
Porque if you are messy, porque you're messy, en su, en su habitación tiene un desorden, sus cuadernos, ahí apenas eso es messy. Eh, pero mes es el es, es desorden, es relajo, porque relajo es más caliche, entonces, pero es una mala palabra, se me ocurría, pero ahí se le va a que le investigue usted. Pero no, 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 tengo que parece Messi que menciona, oye, todo raro también, como que solo con decir eso ya me dio no sé qué. Ah, <risa> es Madrid, es Madrid. <risa> Ya, ya me dio alergia, I'm allergic to that. Ya cayó, ya cayó. Ajá. Ya habló. Ya habló, ya pues. Ya habló. Sí, ya, pues. ya se dio color. Sí. sí. Ok. Bueno, guys, let's practice. Aquí vamos. Here we go. Practice as much as you can.
Hello, Marvin. Did you finish? Hello, Marvin. Hello. I'm sorry. Eh, se me cortó el internet. ¿Con me, quién? Me sacó. ¿Con quién estaba Con... trabajando? Con Rey. Con Norma. Vale. Voy a unir a Rey también. Al... Rey y Norma. Voy a unir. Ahí va. Norma, hello, hello. La vamos a asignar con, con, con Marvin, estaba, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no sé qué le pasa a Marvin, creo que se le desconectó. Vale. Sí, la voy a asignar ahorita con él. ¿Ya habían terminado o faltaba un poco? No, ya habíamos terminado. Como solo era de, de hacer las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá, sí, vaya, ajá. vaya está bien, vaya, está bien. Entonces ya uh -huh. solo un minuto más y le voy a asignar con ellos. Lo, él lo mandé con, con Rey. <risa> pero aquí ah, okay. vamos, ok. You have plenty of time, <laughs> Narciso. <laughs> Hello, Narciso. You have plenty of time. You have plenty of time. <laughs> Narciso. Hello. Marlene. How was it? A lot of time to practice. <laughs> <laughs> I know you no. took advantage. Okay, I know you were practicing and practicing, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Nice to hear that. I, I need practice, man. You need to a practice. Lot. Yeah. 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 There's one saying that says in English if you don't use it, you lose it. Have you heard of that? What? Have you heard of this saying? Hay un dicho que dice, if you don't, if you don't use it, you, you missed it or you lose it. If you don't yeah. use it, you lose mm -hmm. it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Aunque no lo uses, lo pierdes. So that Ay, means... No quiero perder. <laughs> that means, uh -huh, if you don't practice your English, you might, you know, lose it. So practice, practice, practice. And practice makes perfect, okay? Well, thank you guys for sharing and thank you for, you know, uh, taking advantage of this time to practice. I know you were practicing a lot. And then um, I would like to maybe, I don't know if, if there are any, if, I don't know if there is any volunteer who would like to share 
what you practice with your partners, anyone, maybe role play a conversation using your um, information. One, only one place, but make it real, make it sound as if you really need help. One. Just one. Okay, I understand you practice so much that you don't want to share, okay? Let's, let's move on. No problem then, let's move on. Um, we have this next uh, page that we are going to study today and see, wow, this is too, okay. We are going to use, we're going to study how to use get and go, okay? Based on your experience, when do we use get? Or what does get express? What does get express? Or how do you use it? Any example or any question or any sentence that you would like to share with me with using get? Get. Is there any difference between get and go or is it the same? It's different. It's different. Okay, let's do something. I know, let's do something. JC, help us reading these examples, please. Read this. Read the ones on the first column, this one. Read. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Look at the work in both and complete the sentences below. How can I get to the tri centers? I'm going to rent a car at some as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. Thank you, JC, that will be enough. So we have a cat and then we have get in bold, it means in negrita, and then as soon as. I get and then I get. So when do we use get? That is the main question here. We use get to ask for directions or to emphasize, to emphasize uh, the idea of what, guys? Motion from A to B or arrival? Which is the? Uh, which? Arri arrival. Arrival. Mm -hmm. Arrival. Okay, so basically we have arrival as the as being this the first. I mean the best choice, right? So get express expresses the idea of direction or asking for directions or to emphasize, right? When you get to a place, when you arrive to a place. Okay, good. How about go? We have go on the other side. Let's see, let's have somebody to read. Maybe Ruben, can you help us with these uh, sentences or questions here on the other column? How? How do? How do you, how do you go to work? Okay, next one. Uh, I am going okay. to go to the computer center. Center after in checking. He, I go home around 7 p.m. Okay, so basically we have that we use go to uh, specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of. Arrive. Arrive. Arrival. 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 Or or motion from A to B? Motion. motion. Exactly, it's motion. It is, es el transcurso, el movimiento, la, la, el que se hace de un lugar a otro. Go, 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 okay? Exactly. So having that in mind, teniendo eso en mente, guys, uh, let's, let's finish this exercise by maybe using either or, or both get or go, okay, oh, from these sentences. We have a couple of sentences. We have six sentences here. 
what is the best choice? Is it get or is it go? Or is it both? The two of them. Take two minutes or three minutes and finish this. The first one is done. Go, please. Work on that. And this is how to use my car. Thank you. Thank you. Go to work. Okay. Go to work. Go. Go. You finish, Linda? Hola. 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 Did you finish? No. Okay. Ray, you finished? Yeah. All right. That was really fast. Okay. Let's take one more minute then. Right, so let's start doing this. Let's finish this activity then. We're gonna start with Ray. Can you do me a favor, please? Can you um, give us the answer of number two? Read number two and give us the answer, please. What is it? Let me share the screen. Me? Yeah, please. Yeah. Go, go Alex, on. Alex, Sophie, how do you go to work? Sophie by car. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have the same? Uh, Ray is saying that the answer is go. So would that be okay? Yes, I have yes. the same. The same, go, okay. So Sophie, how do you go to work? Okay, motion, right by car. What about number three? Let's see who has number three. Who wants to do it? Who wants to share? Alex. Sophie, how do you, the train, the train is going to go to the production plant after the meeting. Mm -hmm. huh? So we have go here. Do you guys agree with that? No, I, what do you have? I think get. Get, okay, we have two ideas. What else, what do you think guys? So we have get and we have go. So Ooh, what? Go. Get. Go, go get. So this is like a competition. So who gives okay. more? <laughs> this, okay. Mm -hmm. What go or get? What is the what is the best answer, guys? What's the best get. one? Get. Get. What do you think? Let's see. Narciso, help us in this dilemma. What's the best choice? The trainer, the trainer is going to get. Get. Wow. Plan after get. the meeting. Marvin, what do you think? Ruben, what do you think? Get or go? I, I, I think this go is get picture because it's motion from, from, from the product, from the, to the production plant. The, the trainer is move. It's moving. Mm -hmm. Because it's moving, exactly. Because he use get. Go. Right. And the production plan is a place as well, if you think about it. Then uh, 
for arrivals, we also use get. So what's the answer? The answer in this case is both, guys. We can use either or, yes. The context, the context help us, yes. We can use either or. Of course, it means it, it, when you talk, you can say the trainer is going, is going to go to the production after the meeting. And then the get means the arrival time. But in this scenario, we can use both. That is why you, you feel like as if you can use go, but sometimes you have this confusion, but I think I can use get. So yes, both are okay in this case. As the, as the instruction says, what does the instruction says? It says right here, sometimes you can use both options like in this scenario, okay? What about number four? What do you have for number four? Number four, excuse me. How can I get it? Thank okay, you. how can I get to the bus station? <laughs> Great. What about number five? The bank is really near. You can go, go by foot. Go, yes, go by foot. And the very last one is I am going to call you when I get to the get hotel. Get to yeah. the hotel. Great. So let's see. Uh, Xiomara, read number one, please. Complete it. Complete it. Read it. Only read it. Pronunciation. Read it. We're going to buy a server. Server. When? We head, we head to the airport. Okay, so cargador is charger. Charge, charger. 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 We're going to buy a charger when we get, get, you get, get, get to the airport. Airport, airport, okay. Marvin, read number two, please. Alex. Marvin. So, okay. Uh, Alex. Okay. Sophie, how do you, how do you you go to work? Sophie by car. Okay, thank you. Next one. Daniel, help us. Number three, please. Trainer is going to get to the production plant after the meeting. Okay, and then the possible, there was the other option, Daniel? The trainer is going to go to the production plan after the meeting. Awesome, thank you so much. Marlene, number four, please read it. Excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? Okay, good. Cuando tengamos dos letras similares, solo pronunciamos una. Dígalo. Please, excuse me. Excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? Good, bus station. Yes. Bus station. Bus station, good. Uh, and number five, Jay-Z, the bank is... The bank is really near. You can go by foot. Good, really? Really, 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 <laughs> really, really near, really, really near, yes. And the last one, let's see, a volunteer to read, Rafa, not a volunteer. Rafa. I'm going to call you when I get to hotel. When I get to the hotel. Okay, good, thank you so much for sharing. Last activity, tenemos una última actividad aquí, Guys, que la vamos a realizar eh, un poquito más actualizada, ¿va? porque aquí hablamos de uh, driving using uh, GPS, right? And then we need to practice, okay? We need to role play the conversation. We need to take turns. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? El student A, you are driving and you're using your GPS system, okay? And the student B, you work at a GPS company and you're giving directions to your classmates, okay? 
Aquí tenemos la conversación de student A. Thank you for using Rose Star. How can I help you? And the student B says, I need directions for the what? Okay, for the nearest hotel, for the, then you wanna say, depend, you, you can modify this idea. How can I get there? Sure, please. Uh, turn left, continue two kilometers. Uh, the speed limit is, this is just an idea. You can, of course, add more, you know, ideas to this conversation. And you can use this picture right here, okay? Um, so let's take turns. Aquí tenemos el punto de partida. This is the car. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo guiarían ustedes a su compañero? Okay. How can you help one another? Okay. Um, so this is what we're going to do. Let's take some time. Let's analyze the map. And let's see how we can modify these you know, ideas and adjust it to the, to the picture. Okay, as directions, aquí tenemos en el mapa, tenemos hotels, tenemos, creo que es un bank, restaurants, gas station, eso es lo que tenemos, okay? Y pueden agregar más si ustedes gustan en esos espacios, okay? Uh, vamos a crear un, un espacio para que practiquen, les gustaría que sea en grupos o en parejas, eso es un fair work activity. Grupos. Fair. Creo que sí, mejor grupo, porque de repente se va uno y ya dejan al otro ahí, el otro cristiano solito. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Voy a poner three, por si alguien se queda solo, ya quedan dos, ¿ok? Para que practiquemos, un, luego pues si alguien ya terminó y quiere retornar, pues tiene la libertad de hacerlo, para que no, porque uno termina más rápido que otro, ¿verdad? Uno se dedica más a practicar que otros, depends. So here we go, groups of... Um, Yeah, groups is okay. Groups. Si quedan tres o cuatro, ahí ustedes tomen el turno, ¿verdad? Los otros que escuchen, practice, y tomen la decisión cómo van a hacer práctica. Here we go. I need a need direction for the nearest. How, how can I, I go to the nearest there. hotel? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nearest. 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 Okay. Thank you for using Raul Star. How can I help you? I need a direction for the nearest hotel. How can I get? Uh, around the corner on the left. 
donde stream 800 metros, creo. Around the corner, on the left. Sí, va. No. Of the left. Okay. Yo el banco. No sé. ¿Alguna dirección? Compañeros. Podría ser, vaya. Uh, I, I need direction for the near station. I need direction for okay. the, uh -huh. the near gas station. Gas station. Mm -hmm. How can I get there? I need. Direction. Direction. Or to the Pero ahí vamos a usar el get get go. Get for the get for okay. the get for the get by ahí sería by how can I get there? ¿Cómo puedo llegar ahí? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? I need direction for get gas station. Direction to get. To, to get. get. Uh -huh. I, I need direction. I need directions. Uh, si va a poner for the, es porque va a decir for the nearest. The nearest gas station. How can I get there? Sigan la estructura. I need directions for the nearest gas station. How can I get there? Y eso sería. Y el otro que démosle, démosle el toquecito, guys. Aquí, por ejemplo, ahí. Thank you for reusing Rose Star. How can I help you? How can I help you? Entonces, Thank ese you es el punto. Thank you for, uh, uh, how. Usted puede ponerle ahí la pregunta que practique. How, thank you for using uh, ways, services. How can I help you? En vez de decir, what can I help you? Puede decir, how can I assist you today? Or what can I do for you today? Tratemos de innovate, ¿verdad? Vamos a regresar sí. todos y vamos a hacer un repaso de esas frases que podemos ir quizás agregando o quitando en una conversación para no limitarnos a esa. ¿verdad? Esa es la guía, esa es solo es la guía. Tómese dos minutos más, ya lo voy a llamar a todos, ¿ok? Teacher, nearest, nearest es el más, más cercano. El más cercano, sí, el más cercano. Más cercano ok. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back. Welcome back, Maria Julia. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Thank you for returning. What, what happened, Marlene? I did. <laughs> what happened? It's, it's for direction with Daniel. <laughs> yeah, then it was. It's, 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 it's how, it's how uh, to wrap. To laugh, 
No, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, and go straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, 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 I sing a song. Okay, <laughs> oh, to the right, to the right, left. to the right, now kick, now kick, now kick. Uh -huh. Right, follow the leader, leader, follow the leader. Right, left, right. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, you know, I like that. Great. Okay. Um, guys, thank you so much for sharing. Hey, how can we make this, um, how can we personalize this? Okay, I know we have here, thank you for using uh, Rostar. How can I help you? Otro opening que se desinventaron, a ver, cuénteme. ¿Qué más podrían decirme decir thank you for using? ¿Qué podemos decir? Thank you for calling to the GPS company. Ok, thank oh, you for can calling. Can I help you? Nice, thank you for calling to the GPS. Thank you for calling. Ok, gracias. Miren, aquí es una de las cosas que hemos aprendido nosotros que después de for ponemos el verbo en ING. Miren, thank you for calling, thank you for using. Uh -huh. uh, GPS company, how can I help you? Ok, me gusta eso. ¿Qué más? Pues usted... Thank you for calling. My name is Daniel. How can I help you? <laughs> My name is Daniel. How can I help you? Okay. Así era que Daniel ha trabajado en esos call centers. <laughs> ya lo ha hecho, no, Daniel. I, no, I, I'm, uh, estuve, I, how say, I'm, I'm staying, I uh, was training, I was a, a training in the dispatch of my office. Ah, okay. Yes. And when I wear the phone in some, we answer thank you for call this thank you for call this patch mm -hmm. my my name is Daniel how can I help you right okay yes I can see you got the experience thank you for calling okay. thank, <laughs> thank you for using um thank you for contacting yeah thank you for contacting you can say that for contacting um and what else can you say? Or some people say, good morning. If it is in the morning, good morning. Thank you for calling. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thank you for calling. Or hi, good morning. Thank you for calling. Depends, right? Yes. And instead of saying, uh, how can I help you? What other options do we have, guys? Other options? And instead of saying, how can I help you? What other options do we have? En vez de decir, how can I help you? Algo más que podamos decir, una otra frase. It's okay, how can, I, how can I do for you? What can I do for you? Ah, what can I, what what can I do for you? ¿Qué exactly. puedo hacer por usted, verdad? What can I do uh -huh. for you? Esa está muy buena. What can I do, can I do for you today? Uh -huh. Le puedo poner en casa ahora. What can I do for you today? Okay, yes. Una un poquito más formal es how may I assist you. Esto, miren. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Ok, good. Y luego que ya pedí la ayuda. I need directions for the nearest hotel. How can I get there? No podemos cambiarlo. Podemos decir how can I get there? Or... Um, can you tell me how can I get there? No, la verdad se tiene que mantener. Uh, aquí viene la otra parte. En vez de decir sure, ¿qué otras expresiones ustedes ya conocen? Other expressions. En vez de sure. Of ¿Cómo? course. Of course. Of course. What else? ¿Qué más? Aparte de demostrar que quiere ayudar, ¿qué más puede decir? Sure, of course, of course. ¿Qué más? Right away. Right away. What else? Yes, I help you. Yeah, yes, I can help you. Okay, or I'll help you. Okay. Yes, I help you. Mm -hmm. Y después viene la parte más challenging, ¿verdad? Hay que uh, turn left to right to, to go straight, uh, take the first ride and uh, drive for 20 minutes for a half an hour. <laughs> and then you'll see at the gas station on the left, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the speed limit is this. Pero esa parte ya es la parte más eh, challenging. Y creo que el reto de Mr. que nos estaba, nos dio el mapa, guys, estaba, estaba viendo de que el reto sería, a ver quién se anima a hacerlo ahorita, uh, llegar, hacer llegar a este, a este car, que llegue a este otro punto, que es la gas station. 
¿Cómo lo haría? A ver, ¿quién, ¿quién se anima? You can do it, Daniel. <risa> <risa> okay. Vamos, Daniel. Try, veamos. Throw, throw, uh, you can throw back two blocks mm -hmm. and you see, you see the stop sign. Okay. Turn to the right to the end of the street. Uh -huh. Turn to the left, one block. Okay. To turn to the right and be careful because it's School zone. Okay, school zone, okay. School zone. One block more, turn to the right, uh -huh. and you are, at the gas, you are at the gas station. Okay, the gas station is on your left. Okay. On your left. Yeah. Nice. I like <laughs> it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, that's the way. Good. Daniel, you're good at giving directions, Daniel. I can see. <laughs> nice. That's, that's really good. So thank you so much. I think that was the most difficult one. Porque la, el primero te lo tenían prohibido. Así, fija, y decía, don't turn. Ahí no podemos meternos en esa calle. Porque si no, boom, crashed into another car, right? <laughs> <laughs> Accident <laughs> happens. Bueno, guys, I really appreciate your participation. You know, every, every day for me is a new experience. Every day you guys teach me a lot. And the way we handle the class is because you guys make it like that. I really appreciate your participation. You just came, just give me one more minute because I need to check the attendance, okay? And that'll be it for today. Okay, so the first one here, Anna Elizabeth, I think she's not here, right? She didn't make it. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Narciso. Cristina, you here? Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Daniel. Uh, then Gabriela. Quién está enamorado? Ajá. <risa> Rafa, eh. Ah, Rafa. Hey, Rafa. Vino, vino. <risa> Te voy a llamar hasta los 70, le estoy diciendo. Eso. <risa> pero, pero, pero. Pobre. Ajá. Qué mentiroso. Ah, eso son. <risa> De adorado, adolescente. Bueno, sigamos. Herson, Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Gabi. Pero Gabi, 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 Gabi. Gabi ya no está. Se fue Gabi, ok. Um, José Rubén, JC. Present teacher. Thank Present. You. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, María Julia, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Present. Marvin. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Rafael Rey. I'm here. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Rey. Yo creo que todos lo mencioné. Xiomara. Xiomara, Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Well, it's been a nice experience. Thank you so much for practicing and see you guys tomorrow being this the last day of our course. Tomorrow is a farewell. Night, teacher. It's a farewell. It's a farewell. It's a closing. Bye-bye. Take care. Like I said, pizza Bye. and coffee. Todo Yay. eso para enjoying everything. See you tomorrow. Friday. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Friday. And the body knows. Bye, guys. Bye. Nice, nice. En el trabajo, pues, Harrison. At work. In teacher at work. Le toca algo, al, algo pesado, ¿va? pero sí, es que como hace tres meses promovieron al coordinador de área, entonces tiene, tiene dos, esto que estar encima y como ahorita estoy todavía en curva de aprendizaje, uh -huh. pero ahí vamos, pues sí. ya cosas pesadas. Okay. Felicidades, eso significa que you are doing a great job y they trust you confían mucho en usted, así que y pues a, a pesar a, a adicionalmente que da means more incomes, ¿verdad? Me imagino, así que congratulations. Yes. Así yes. que así una vez se adapte, ¿verdad? Ya como 
se lo menciona, la curva de aprendizaje sea menos pronunciada, ¿verdad? Ya no. eso, ya, ya las cosas se vuelven más estables. Sí. Bueno, ¿alguna pregunta que tenga de la clase? De la clase, bueno, creo que las direcciones de, de estudiarlo un poco más y practicarla, como se dice, la verdad es que más que todo practicar, uh -huh, uh -huh. practicar para ir asimilando todo el, el vocabulario, sí. todo lo, el conocimiento y, y cómo aplicar cada una de las cosas. La verdad es que lo, que lo que me cuesta es tal vez a la hora de, de, de tratar de anidar toda, todas las ideas. Y pensar si uno va a decir algo bueno, si no lo va a decir bueno, la pronunciación o, o la, la parte de, de la gramática. Eso es más que todo. Sí, y, y de repente pues los errores se van a cometer y como que no va a ser así perfect al the beginning. De poco a poco se va y siempre se cometen errores, pero ya fluye un poco más la conversación y, y hay más vocabulario. ¿verdad? Entonces, al principio es como, ya yo sé lo que voy hablando inglés, la verdad, porque veo que lo van haciendo muy bien. Entonces, y ya es cuestión de... De, ajá, de empezar a usar el vocabulario que ya ustedes saben, agregar un practice. poco más practice, exactly practice es, ese, es problema. Ajá. Ajá, ese sí. es el problema porque quizás, digamos aquí en el trabajo si sí hay gente que lo habla pero quizás por lo mismo del trabajo cada quien anda ahí en sus puertas y es difícil, un poco más difícil practicar, tal vez ahí no sé alguna recomendación que me dé usted aparte de los audios del, del libro sí. algún lugar donde yo podría a veces hay aplicaciones, bueno, he visto aplicaciones. Hay aplicaciones, hay bastantes aplicaciones. Y no sé si le gusta leer, pero en lo personal, sí. los, los, los audiobooks son, son recomendados. O, o sabe qué, vaya, cuando va en el carro, ahí un podcast, Ajá. un podcast, va a hacer unos audios, ahí como alguna. A mí me encanta escuchar mensajes positivos en inglés, mm. los pone en la mañanita y escuchando en inglés y si no comprende bien bien lo que vaya sucediendo, como lo va a tener guardado, si es posible descargarse también el, el, la, la lectura o, o lo que va diciendo. Uh -huh. A mí me gusta ver el video, o sea, en mi celular descargo video, eh, pero también si es posible que aparezcan los subtítulos en inglés y escucharlos, escucharlos, de repente se vuelve una rutina. Yo cuando trabajaba, estaba ahorita porque estoy en Sonso, pero cuando estaba en, en la capital de Gran Tráfico, siempre me gustaba poner un podcast ahí, irlo escuchando, de repente, eso ayuda bastante porque hay un montón de vocabulario. ¿Cómo lo busca yo en YouTube, por ejemplo? Algo tan sencillo uh -huh. como uh, positive messages o inspirational messages, como mensajes uh -huh. inspiracionales. Y hay un montón. A mí me gusta escuchar Joel Austin, ¿verdad? Joel Austin. Y también es, es este señor el que tienen, que tienen como este, estos programas. Este, el que se equivocó para cuando anunció el de la, de la, de la Miss Universe. Steve, uh -huh. Steve, 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 Steve. Harvey, creo que es, no me acuerdo. Vaya, él, por ejemplo, tiene un montón de... de o programas como, como Helen Show, por ejemplo. El, el show de Helen, esos, esos programas así donde hablan inglés. Vea, ese tipo de cosas son, ayudan un montón. Esa es una... Donde, uh, donde yo me reto es Ajá. a veces cuando pongo el canal de noticias. Ese Vaya, y, esa es otra muy buena. Ahí es, tal vez ahí yo lo que voy viendo es que por lo menos la, escuchar qué tanto puedo entender de lo, de lo que hablo. Uh -huh. Porque, bueno, hace bastante que traté de empezar a estudiar inglés. Lo que me decía es que hay palabras que, que tal vez uno no conozca el significado, pero por el contexto uno ya va relacionando qué puede decir. Qué puede decir. Entonces, ahí es donde ya más o menos voy viendo. A veces también las películas, como está la opción ahora de ponerlas en inglés, en español, con subtítulos. Ahí también. Pero sí, lo, lo que la verdad que a mí me cuesta es, es, es tratar de, de amarrar todas las ideas uh -huh. y, y quizás tener una conversación fluida. Y el listening, cuando lo escucho una conversación en, en, en las noticias. Sí, en la, radio. sí. No, la verdad que sí, por lo menos cuando usted habla todas las instrucciones y todo, sí las entiendo. Uh -huh. Hay ciertas palabras que que no las entiendo, pero el contexto, contexto. de lo que usted me dice, ya, ya, ya. El contexto. El contexto Ajá, o sea, que, que, quizás es cabal, en escuchar sí siento que, que, que sí, eh, sí puedo, o sí he avanzado bastante, pero más que todo, el escribir quizás es, es lo segundo que, que, que voy tratando de, de, de hacer, y ya por último queda el hablar. 
sí, sí he mejorado hombre. bastante la parte del, de la pronunciación, creo que, que sí me ha ayudado bastante lo, lo del inglés, todos todo estos niveles, uh -huh. pero falta todavía esa parte como de amarrar todo. Como, o como una conversación como... así. Ajá. Ahorita, ahorita estamos dibujando, nada más, no estamos pintando todavía el dibujo. Entonces, la, la foto de lo que usted quiere ver y lo que visualiza, poco a poco va a ir teniendo más sentido. Hasta a ver un momento que se la vamos a poner en cuadro. ¿sí? Entonces, <risa> eh, sí, se trata de poco a poco. Ya, yo, yo, honestamente, de la primera vez que los escuché hablar y escuchaba como decían, se, se nota que hay interés y que le están poniendo ganas y sé, entiendo que están ocupados porque trabajar y estudiar bueno, yo así sé que la universidad no fue nada fácil, creo que muchos hemos tenido esa experiencia, pero sigamos echando ganas Gerson, usted está haciendo un buen trabajo y, y así que aparte de que en el trabajo pues me imagino de que y, y ahorita una se me había olvidado decirle, los martes y jueves me han dejado clases en la universidad, pero la tengo de 6, 40, 8 y 10. Así que, por pues, si se dio cuenta, ahora solo me conecté a apagar la cámara y el audio porque todavía estaba en, en los últimos 10 minutos de la clase de la universidad. Y como también ahí la graban y todo, entonces tengo que cumplir el horario. Sí, sí. Así que la primera clase, cuando yo le dije que, que, que ah, tenés, teacher, que estaba en trabajo, un alumno mío, Profe, dije, cierra el micrófono. Ah. Todavía faltaban dos minutos. Me escuché que estaba. <risa> ah, sí, okay. le puse. Ok. Pero bueno. sí, o sea, lo, lo que pasa es que por eso que también que uno a veces busca la manera de, de, de poder salir adelante y a veces se satura de un montón de cosas. Pero bueno, sí. eh, vamos poco a poco. That's life, ups and down, la vida así es. Así que si sí, no, no tendría sabor, Gerson. Sí, claro, la vida, no, sí. Sí, yo no me imagino una vida aburrida, la verdad, mejor así. Claro. Así que, echémosle ganas, Gracias, un gusto, bueno, un gusto pues. Gusto, descanse, feliz noche. Descansa, bye bye.